Hello YouTube, Oberon Blade here and this is Farming Simulator 2013. Welcome back. As you can see the field has grown in with a bunch of barley and I'm just gonna harvest it. <coughs> I've been doing a few missions so I have a little bit of money. However, I have not purchased a new tractor yet. Uh, I feel like I need one. Uh, I feel like I need a lot of different equipment but Maybe the tractor is among the chief things that I need, the chief equipment that I need. Having two tractors would be very useful once I expand to maybe a, a secondary field or just need to do more than one thing at the same time where one of the other things to do is not uh, harvested. So. <coughs> Also because of the fertilizing that I did of this field, it's growing in quite nicely and it basically fills up uh, the combine in just one, uh, as you can see it fills up quite rapidly. And just in one pass it's going to reach 100% or very close to 100% anyway. So I had to keep track of that and you know having a bigger combine would be very useful but the cheapest one to get that is bigger than this current one because just getting a secondary one to this one similar one is not just it's, it's, it's not worth it uh, it's a 232,000 or something like that uh, 199 or 190,000 for the combine and then you have the header for another 32,000 you can look at it when this one is set up properly, let's see. There we go. And the trailer is not that big either, so it's also need to be upgraded. But I'm hoping for a bunch of uh, lawnmower missions. That would give me a bit of more money to spend. Money is always good. I still have an additional hundred thousand to um, borrow from the bank. I mean, I have the option to lend, borrow another hundred thousand. However, I don't want to do it because it costs a bunch of money to borrow money, hmm. and I don't feel like I need to do that. So let's check on the market. I could afford that one or buy a similar to the identical to the one I have now. The Lidnogir track, I'm not far away from that, but I'm gonna go for the Dutes Agarton K420. Um, and as you can see, 199,950 plus 32,000 for the Dutes 5465H and the cutter. So that's a lot of money to just throw out there has a good tank capacity though. That one has a very nice tank capacity. So that will be 300,000 to get this. And I'm, you know, two thirds away from that. Uh, nothing in potato or beet harvesting just yet. Um, a new wagon like the Gilbert 1800 Pro would be suited, I think. Cultivator. I would like to have a wider cultivator than the one I have so there are no passes that is left on loan. I did try this one in uh, the multiplayer I'm doing with a buddy. I'm not too impressed with it and this one it says you know you need big ass tractors so yeah. Cedar I do already have this one ideally I would like to get the Amazon Cayena I can actually afford that one now but being s be bigger sower is not really what I need at the moment. Sprayers, I will skip those. Manure spreaders, I will skip those. Slurry tanks, I will skip those. Mowers, well, not really needed. That one will be nice. Crone Big M 500. Windrower, yes, I do need a windrower. Uh, I think that maybe this one would be ideal. 
because it's good enough. And I don't need the tethers, I can do without. Uh, loading wagons, I don't need them either. And bailing technology, that one would be nice, but then I would need to get this one. Uh, and then we have the feeding technology again. Have no animals. The weights a miscellaneous. That. Now, if we go by mods, which we can look at later. Let's just get out of here first. I think the combine needs to be emptied again. So let's do that, and when we drop off the items from that load, or when this one is getting full, which is three passes or something like that. We uh, can check up the other stuff because there are some cheap items to get from the modding community, even the official mods. Um, I feel like to make a little bit of extra money, I, I should make use of this uh, straw or hay that is here on the ground. But I'm also thinking, why? because it's a money investment to buy the machinery needed for that I can make it make do with a very cheap investment um, for example um, I can think I can do it on a budget of maybe 18,000 so let's check that out the tractors here we do have a bunch to get I can I don't want to get that one. It's big, but it's also expensive. But these here, these mudded tractors here, like that one, 75 horsepower, um, 55 kilowatt. It's a good, fast tractor, even though it's an old age tractor. Then you have the Kurovets K700A, which is a modded tractor, which you know mods high horsepower, a lot of kilowatts, but also high cost in maintenance. A front loader, here's the old school front loader. Um, don't really need one of those at this time. Uh, but there is the option f to get those. And here's the tear track. Harvester is an expensive one, so uh, nothing I'm interested in at this time. The tippers, I don't really need them. Cultivators here, but you can see, you know, three meter. That's not much. Three meter, three. That one, seven point five meters. That's a good one, I think. And you have this three meter, three meter. So that's the only one worth taking or getting. But hmm. I don't know if. Because that would make cultivating very fast. And the plows, 1 meter, 1.2, 1.6, and then I have no idea how big this is. Adding grave for a rave, super grave. So you attach that next to this one to make it even. A fifth band can also be grown. Okay. So you buy this and this, and you get 1.6 plus whatever this is. Still seems small. Sewing machine, 2 meter wide. A uh, fertilizer spreader, no. Manure spreader, no. Slurry mowers. This mower is not much to have, so I don't need that. And then you have the 15 meter wind rower, which is nice. And yeah, the Puttinger, which is small, 3 meter, 280, which is even smaller. The tethers, don't need to worry about them. Loading wagons, have two of them. Baling technology, this bay loader is working with this one. This one makes very small bales. It's about maybe a tenth of the size of a normal bale. So if you use this, you need this wagon because you cannot collect them in another fashion to make it easier for you anyway. And then there's a bunch of different weights which you don't really need at this time, I think. And then the miscellaneous, mis yes, misc stuff. And then back to tractors. Uh, so I can, uh, yes, what I was going to show you were 
the bailing technology. 9,000 and 9,000. So I can get that done in 18,000. I can collect this stuff here and probably sell it. But should I do that or should I just keep going like I'm doing, waiting till I get enough money for the tractor I want? Let's see, how are we with resources? We do have stuff stored up. We're storing more barley now. I'm just hoping for a nice little um, high demand stuff. Because that would be very useful to have. Getting a high demand would give me a bunch of money so I can bit get that tractor and then that uh, step is done. I'm sure that if I sold some of the stuff like my 16,000 units of canola, um, 1237, it's not a bad number. But that's per, so 1237 times 16 would be, let's see, moment, um, here we go, 1237, okay, 1237 times 16, that will give me close to 20,000. Not a bad number, really. But a great demand will give me even more. And it's not like I'm really hurting for money at this time, so I will wait a little bit. A um, couple of these missions here would get me close enough for to get 112,000. I am at 91,000 now. And also, I don't have to sell all of the uh, grain products. Uh, I can sell like one load full, one trailer full, whatever. And that would be enough. Maybe. And let's see. Done. See, 98,000. And that tractor was 112. So one load of this or two more missions. Of um, mowing the lawn at the golf course. get me more money. This one is loaded, almost full. Yep. Not much left to fill this up. Nice. Next investment would also be another field, but yeah, tractor is definitely needed for that. I can rely on just one tractor. I, I went a little bit overboard by selling all those four tractors because one of them could be used to pull this one here as I operated. So let's see which fields is. See, number 14, number 17 here is 111,000, number 14 is 102. So, getting field number 14, yeah, that would be nice. That way everything is happening on the same side. 
Hey, golf course mission. Same place as before. So, a couple more of these. Woohoo! Let's get lots of them. Also, I don't really know what it is your viewers are interested in seeing me do. I mean, do you like to see every step of the process of planting, plowing, cultivating, harvesting, uh, mowing of grass and all that? Or do you want to see me buy new machinery? Or exactly what is it that you enjoy watching? Um, I have no problem recording basically everything I do if you want to see me you know, plow through uh, or harvest an entire field I can definitely do that I don't mind that at all um, at the same time I don't want you to be bored when you're watching this and also I don't want you to feel like you're left out of the process if I do too much offline just show you like snippets of what it is that I'm doing I don't know if you would enjoy that very much. But what I will do is, if I get enough missions before this field has been completely plowed or uh, uh, harvested, to buy my new tractor, the Dutes tractor, and if I can manage to wrangle up another 18,000, I will probably be get the historical versions of the baler and bale truck because I think that let's see there we go 52 percent it's a little bit too fast. 51? Yeah, it's a bit bubbly. But anyway. um, because that's an investment for the future as well, and I can just dump off the stuff in this uh, brown building you see over there behind that birch tree, I think it is. Um, I think I can drop off any kind of bales in there or save them for the future but then I guess I probably need to keep going down the historical line um, with a bale loader or things like that maybe huh. well next golf course mission golf course mission if it's not too far into the future should put me over the 112k mark so I feel confident to maybe buy that one I think yeah maybe. yeah I'll do that I think decisions decisions uh, I'm playing this with a friend from Can Canada and uh, he's been helping me out a lot by you know giving me information telling me what to do and such things to think about right um, I'm grateful for him uh, for his help uh, we're also playing a few other games together uh, like agricultural simulator 2011 and we talked about doing a series of it so we were just doing sort of the prep work uh, earlier before the actual recording um, I was running uh, the game as uh, I was hosting the server, so to speak, or the hosting the multiplayer game. And as we were playing, someone tried to join, which is strange because uh, the game itself was password protected. So how they managed to get that far, I did not know. But basically, they could not join because they had the wrong um, version of the game. And uh, so I was like, okay, that's strange. Um, and shortly after, someone else tried to join, and 
actually managed to join for some reason. They were anonymous, but they crashed the game. And since I had not saved our progress, that messed up a lot for for us. So there might be a co-op of Agricultural 2011 in the future, or there might be a co-op of this one in the future. Um, we also tried Minecraft. I thought I had a Minecraft server set up, but turns out I did not. Uh, it's kind of tricky for me to figure out by myself, uh, because on my end it says like, yay, there's a server available, yay, you've done everything right. Uh, and I get access to it all the time, but of course, it's not until people from the outside of my home try to connect and we discover that the server isn't listed anywhere, they can't get to it or anything like that, don't realize that I suck and basically I just didn't do anything, do it properly. Which is weird because I followed every step provided to me in, in guides and such on how to set up a server with port forwarding and whatnot. Still just wasn't enough I guess, so going back to check up on that as well. Um, I, I had been reluctant to install Hamachi because I felt like I wanted to set it up so I don't need an extra program or anything like that. Something you know I need to keep up to date and such. But I guess that's not, o not an option. Um, and we did give it a try with the Hamachi but uh, we're able to get unable to get it to work before I had to get off to work, and uh, he had to go to sleep. So maybe we try it out, and maybe we do some teamwork on that and record it together. We'll see. Um, as it is right now, there's three games that I'm playing and uploading. You know, it's this one, the Agar 2011 and there is Minecraft but there is a game that is about to be released um, it's a game I had I've had a long time and it's about to be released a later version of it um, and that one is Project Zomboid um, it's a fun game it's a great game it's a it's an indie game and it's about survival and apocalypse uh, zombie outbreak uh, it's not a question of if you die, it's a question of when you die. And um, so that's great. And this new RC3 version that they are putting out there has a lot of changes to it, a lot of metagame. And, you know, basically check it out. It's indiestone.com, I think, is their webpage and uh, there is a free demo of version 1.5 I think it is but um, also you can check out some of the other people YouTube just type project Soundboy and you will find a lot of other people playing it including the devs and on Twitch TV there is actually um, uh, some uh, live feed well, it's not live anymore, but they did some live feed a couple of hours worth of this new build, RC3 build, um, that you can check out. I don't have the links, and I will not put the links in the description, because that's a totally different game, and I, I would just link to games or things that is related to this game in the description of this game, or the video of this game, but, you know, I can still mention other games if I want. It's my channel, so yay. Um... I used to do recording of a couple of other games that I played, uh, Omerta, City of Gangsters, and SimCity. However, they weren't as enjoyable as I thought they were going to be, and it's the tricky part about doing a series of a new game, is that you don't really get a chance to try it before you start doing the series. So, um, I didn't want to wait to do the series either, to get a feel for the game. So, as soon as I got them, I basically just played the tutorials and figured, well, I played some city before, I've seen other people play it, you know, the beta uploads and all that. 
and Omerida, same thing there, I've seen other people play it and I did a tutorial so yeah, I should know what to, have, what to do, you know and it was enjoyable but not as enjoyable um, it's also a time thing um, you only have so many hours a day and I had to uh, balance you know, me playing games, me recording playing games uh, with work and uh, my personal life uh, my wife is very understanding of course she allows me to she gives me a lot of leeway and I love her for it so but you know I don't want to abuse that so yeah it's a time issue as well and also you know I, I have to find it enjoyable uh, the game I play and the game I record let's see did I get it yep so now when that's said and done getting a little bit personal but that's enough uh, feels like I'm out of lawnmower missions for the period of time so what I will do is I will drop this off and as I've been talking I've also been thinking I am great like that because I can do both and I've decided um, not to sell any of my crop at this time I still know that uh, or uh, you know Murphy's law says that as soon as I sell one item the great demand will show up shortly after so I will keep this in check and I will not buy any other equipment that this well actually I will buy some other equipment at this time why do I keep pressing O so mods per machine type I will buy this one the far and I'll buy the bay loader like that and then we go to the map and we reset both items I could have gotten a um, windrower to get those stuff closer together but nah that's not bother should I get a cheap ass tractor as well so which one this one 38 horsepower 72 horsepower that's a good night good one 53 kilowatt 38 40 45 75 horsepower 55 or the Kira works ah. this one is more suitable for yeah let's go for it <coughs> This is a dudes, so let's stick to the dudes theme. This one is more suitable to handling the old school stuff. And I didn't spend more than 38,000. Which still is me a bunch of money to get other stuff we needed. Remember few minutes ago when I said that while I was talking I was also thinking because I'm great like that well it turns out that I will, the things I was thinking of didn't turn out to be the things I was doing so I guess I'm not all that great after all it's okay I can live with that so let's just put on this tiny 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 baler so you can see what it's doing yay first we need to unfold it basically that means it's going out to the side like so oh, watch the tree so you have to drive next to this furrow see B, we turn it on and I think I'm going a bit too fast so let's lower the speed to 27 and then we increase the speed
so it tells me that I'm going way too fast. It's not telling me anything. It's great. Seventy percent is good with this old tractor. Spit out a bale and as you can see it's gathering pretty fast because it's just a bunch of small bales. Okay, let's go down this road. This path here. Go. Oh, I'm going too fast. Okay, I can live with that. I can go 90. That's fast enough. 90% Sure, just ruling for me Ninety percent, let's see, can I get that top speed before I reach down here? 17, 18 miles an hour, that's good speed Watch it go. Okay, that's a bit fast. It is five percent. It's fast enough. Well, it's not over the top. That's a great mod. I like that. Wait, wait. There we go. Should have bought a red tractor. Oh. So we just collect all this guff here for either future use or something. Um, <coughs> there are certain things that you cannot have your workers do for you, like this is one of them. They I don't I guess the programming would be too tough to make them go in first like this. I don't see why, but you know, I'm not a programmer or a game developer. I wish I was. I do have some game ideas that might be doable, but mm, it's not doable for me at this point anyway, so... Um, I will do this row. Uh, I feel like this episode might go on a little bit too long, so I will do this row. And then I will unhook this machine here. I didn't do all rows, but I did some. And I will hook on the other machine so you can see what that's like. Put that over there. <coughs> now, the thing about... You see, I've set level 1 to 85%, but I have like two other levels to play with. So... When I am using different machines, I think that this bale collector might not be able to run at 85% speed on uh, speed 1 uh, so I can do it on speed 2 and uh, I can still keep the setting for speed 1 at 85% and just do this for speed 2 and we put B to operating position so it's ready to start gathering bales again this one is also off to the side so it's at 58%. Let's see if it's able to pick up any of the bales at this speed. Uh, this one can hold 50 of the bales. Um, of these small, tiny, tiny, tiny bales. And it doesn't use... Okay, I'm driving too fast, so... That does reverse. Let's go uh, 40, see if that's fast. Okay, let's go to 45. Go low, 50. 51. 
Too fast. 53 it is. So as you can see what this one does is it collect and then just shove it out in the back. Well not out but there we go. down this road path. Stuff is bouncing around. I put it down to 50 or is it, no wait, I'm sorry, I was wrong, it's not 50 bales, it's 25 bales, really small bales, that this one can hold. Um, if I had the money I would show you the big baler, the modern size version of this but I uh, don't so yeah anyway now you've seen those new equi this new equipment in use so I will stop the recording here and I will play with this wait what was that oh it's spraying Looking at what I have in storage, I think the next one to make could probably be wheat in this field. Uh, may not be ideal, canola would give more money, but having more wheat in storage would be useful. And considering now the, let's see, the money that I have after buying these two tractors I could get another field going but again I want it as close as possible because most of the equipment I have is old school so well I'm I'll see I either do canola or wheat on this one Wheat will give me more of these bales, which will require more work after I'm done. Canola would definitely give me more money, so I'm actually thinking I'm leaning towards canola. <laughs> because of that. So that will not require that much work between uh, plow um, harvesting the field till I can harvest the next one. Um, I haven't done any wheat except for what was here the first time. So, but I've done a field of canola, and I now did a field of barley. So, yeah, I think canola actually will give the most money. So, <coughs> I will do that, and I guess we're back in the next episode. So, until then, I'm Oberon Blade. This is Farming Simulator 2013. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.